Hey, Kevin. What do you have there, a toy welder? <laughs> Come on. You'll hurt its little feelings. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is Longevity's new MIG Weld 140. It's 110 volt. It's rated to uh, eighth inch plate. It actually comes with a spool gun. Wow. So you can do aluminum with it. You can cook it up to gas so you can run solid core. You can run flux core. You know, so if you want to like go out in the wind, you want to do just little repairs, whatever. Great, great little uh, hobbyist welder, a little home welder. Great welder to have on your truck. You know, you're out in the field, you want to fix something real quick. Cool little machine. So I put some flux core in it. I thought, well, yeah, let's just do a little flux core weld to show you how it works. Didn't talk about it a little bit. So I got the machine set up with um, 035 flux core, and I've got my controls set at about 3 on the volts and about 30 on the wire speed. I thought, let's just run a little. We'll see how it works, make our little adjustments. Cool thing with this one, you can actually adjust these controls while you're welding. You don't have to stop. If you're welded and something doesn't seem right, you can reach over there and give it a little twist or have somebody have your helper give it a little twist while you're working. Cool. Okay, put your helmet on. Let's see what we can get. up to four. Let's see what we get there. Hey, that works pretty good. adjustments a little bit on that. See it coming through on the back side. Maybe a little bit more wire. You know, maybe I turn it from 30 up to like 35. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's try some eighth inch. What do we get there? Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Another great thing about this little welder. Hear how noisy that is? <laughs> well, that's such an improvement over the uh, the uh, 250 MIG weld that I've got in there with a fan that sounds about like a jet engine. Very quiet. You know, this is something you could have under your workbench, you know, like out in your garage or down in your basement. It's not going to drive you deaf. Okay, so let's play with a little eighth inch here. So let's do a little let's do a little corner joint, I guess. Let me turn the welder up to let's say about five on the volts and about 35 on the wire feed. I'll hold it up, we'll tack it in a couple places, see how it looks, make a few adjustments, go ahead and run a couple beats. Got the helmet? here and you see that weld. Not really pretty, you know, kind of lumpy here and there. I think a little more wire would help. So I'll turn it from 35 up to 40, leave the voltage where it was, and then we'll come back and run a short little bead on top. Do you know what flux core is? No. Uh-oh, I forgot. Flux core is basically the same as the as arc welding, as, as stick welding where you've got the rod with the flux on the outside, except it's in a spool. So now instead of having to change your, your stick every you know, 10 inches, whatever it is, you know, you got, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 feet worth of wire in there, so you can just keep going. Same basic principle, you know, same, same idea, you know, same, um, same process. You still have the slag to deal with. You still need to clean your, 
clean your joints, make sure you get all the scale off, get all the rust off, get everything out of the way, nice clean tight joint. Cleaner, tighter, better weld, instead of having junk in the way. But it's basically a stick welder with a spool. That's what flex cord is. Is there gas? No gas. But there is, see, there, there, there are two different kinds of flux core wire. This is flux core without gas, and then they also have a different type that's flux core with gas. Totally different idea. So let me just run a couple more beads here, show you how they look. This is the weld that I said was a little lumpy, so I wanted to add a little more wire to it. That's how it turned out there. That was the first one that I ran over there. So the weld is just starting to peek through on the backside a little, just starting to get a little penetration. So turn it up a little more. You know, turn it up from five to about six. Try it that way, see what kind of weld you get. Nice little machine. I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with this, I think. This one might even go home. I can use it at the house on occasion, too. Oh, yeah. MIG welder, solid core, flux core. You get a spool done with it so you can do aluminum. It runs on 110, so you can use it at home. You can use it out in the yard. You know, if you got a generator, you can take it out in the field. 330 bucks. Longevity hyphen. Inc.com. Check them out.